Hi, I'm in the basement of the property on Desiree. I'm starting down here today uh, just for convenience, actually. I've got all the lights on. This has a laminate flooring, which has been installed, I don't think, by a professional, as you will see, and I've taken photos. I am, this is a hump that I can push down as I walk across, and there's another hump over here that I can push down as I walk across. So I'm not sure um, we could pull that up and put carpet. I'm not sure what's underneath it, but I will definitely ask. So this is the great room down in the basement. When we go outside, it goes to a lower deck, and then we have the backyard, which is a nice sized backyard, plenty of play space, has not been maintained though. Backs to a green space so you won't have neighbors. And you have views of the Air Force Academy, Pikes Peak, and the mountain range. When we go upstairs off the kitchen, there's a deck up there. And then uh, this is a fenced yard. So we'll go back in to the basement, walk out basement. Has a TV mount, the bar area. And then a bathroom, single vanity, tub, tile surround. A bedroom for company. It's small, but it does qualify as a bedroom. This is at the base of the stairs. And then on the other side of the stairs, there's some shelving for storage. And the utility room is down here. I did forget to show that. I apologize. Let's head that way. Here is the utility room. You have some additional storage and the system. And wood, I'm not sure if that'll stay. Okay, um, when I mentioned that flooring not installed properly, I don't know if you can see that. It bounces up and down, so. Okay, upstairs we go. Very big room here. I'm gonna do a sweeping look again, one more time. The built-in bar area, large, and a TV mount. Garden, I mean, you get natural light because it's above ground. Here, turn that off and up the stairs we go. Now, when you come up the stairs, you're at the hallway that goes to the garage. Off to the left is the living room, kitchen, and off to the right is the entry. We'll start there. The front yard. The community mailbox is at the corner of the yard. Again, the grass needs to be tended. There we go. Up the street, that's the corner to Baptist, and then the surrounding neighborhood. It's a very nice neighborhood. <clears throat> We're heading in now. Inside the home, when you first walk in, you'll see the stairway going up, the formal sitting area with the bay window, lots of vaulted ceilings, 
pretty archway heading to the formal dining with big window for natural light. The wood floors are the engineered. And then you come through to the kitchen. We have the refrigerator, white cabinets. I believe these have been resurfaced. So um, maybe new fronts, but not entirely new cabinets. It's a light gray accents, electric range and microwave. We've got the French door refrigerator. I would ask for the home to be professionally clean. It's been sitting for a while and they just didn't do a very good job when they left. Cabinets are not high end. Some of them are a little bit offset, like the way they shut. You can see that gap right there, okay? But again, I would ask them to clean the home as a part of an offer if I made an offer. Now this is the spectacular view that you have from your eat-in kitchen. Air Force Academy, Cheyenne Mountain, Pikes Peak. That's what everybody wants to see. The deck with a VA may need to be um, stained, so I would actually write that into the offer. They left the gas range that is attached to a gas line in the house, which is nice. And a little bit of sloppy painting that they came through here. So I would also ask if they're having their painters come back to clean up. If it is being sold as is, I would consider that as part of my negotiating factor. And we've left a TV mount in the TV area of the great room. Vaulted ceilings, two-story all the way up over the fireplace. And that area had a area where you could put bar stools if you wanted to have the kids have breakfast right there. Okay. We're going to head back this way. That's the door I came through with the garage. There's the entry. And this is the laundry room coat closet area. Coat closet off the entry and garage. Half bath for company so they don't have to go to a different level. The laundry. These are stained. Uh, again, home warranty would help protect you and make sure that those are working properly. I see a missing knob. Um, you might want to just sell those on eBay and get your own. And then we have the three-car garage, loads of storage, and shelves built in. Great for two cars, bikes, even three cars. All right, we're heading back. We're going to go upstairs. So just a roundabout, again, came in through the entry, went off through the living room, dining room, kitchen, now we're going to go up. From the top, we're going to have a view of the uh, living room area with the fireplace. First, well, here, I'll go that way first so you can see it. <laughs> Hello. All right. We're looking down at that living room, TV area, kitchen. Again, views of the Air Force Academy, views of the mountain range. At the top of the stairs, if you go to the right, you're in the family room. <sighs> Out of breath, sorry. <laughs> now, they've recently updated this. You can see where they had carpet, probably, that extended over it. That just needs to be cleaned up. Some paint jobs, touch-ups need to be done. Looks a little rough up there. There we go. And... Coming through the door, you have your toilet over here. This is stick-on tile. I would replace it with um, uh, a real tile. They've just stuck tile down over the original vinyl floor. You have a double vanity with a little sit-in area there. Huge tub, <laughs> a mirror, hello again, and beautiful mountain views along with the neighbors. So I would probably pull down the blinds if I was in the bathroom. <laughs> in here we have 
the walk-in closet, double shelves on all walls. It's not huge. And it looks like they set something, look at that, they sprayed the paint on the light fixture. Looks like that's just something that got set up against there and pulled the, uh, the paint down. Um, probably a plastic bag of some sort. So um, I would definitely reorganize that. They didn't like the gold of the shower stall. See that? So they thought they'd paint it black. Uh, that's sloppy. You can see where the paint sprayed up there, missed there, and hit the wall there. So this looks like, and then they did try to do the same thing over there. This to me looks like somebody tried to come in and and do a flip or a quick repair. Here's some more paint that wasn't quite done properly and ran out of money or time. That's the master. Now, entry, living room, and the master was over there, okay? Here's another bedroom at this end. Good sized bedroom with mountain views, standard closet. There we go. And a ceiling fan, an older one. And then here's the view from this from this room. Okay. Now we're going to go over to the other two bedrooms on this floor which is really nice because you can have the kids on the same floor as you, along with an office. So here is a bedroom. It, has mount, um, it also has mountain views and uh, Air Force Academy views if you lean to the side. Standard size, great for a small kid. The bathroom splits these two rooms right here. And uh, it looks like a leathery kind of tile that was put down. The trim needs to be resecured. And then you've got a tile backsplash. Again, needs to be cleaned. Nice little vanity that's been updated with a mirror and a medicine cabinet. Finally, the last bedroom. Spectacular views again. I don't know if my camera can pick this up. Again, this is a green space. Nobody will build on this. Looking down, you've got the ability to put in some awnings to help um, shade that deck. And then through here. So what I see is paint touch up, cleaning, uh, some trim work. I can see where they've splashed some paint on some trim work. Um, that basement flooring, needs to be redone. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. If there's there's a few uh, paint touch-ups that are needed outside, just a minor, and uh, the back deck has to be resealed uh, in order to pass a VA for sure. You can see, if you zoom in, I'm gonna do that standing still here, you can see where the trim work wasn't done very nicely either. The ceiling's been all painted a gray, it's splotchy. So I think the biggest expense is going to be getting someone in here to, to paint, um, do the paint touch-ups, clean it up, and uh, fix that flooring in the basement, get the yard back to life, and the deck. All right, it is a beautiful home. I probably do 420 or 425, ask for the deck to be done because the VA will not allow that deck to be the way it's left.